All right. Welcome to the advent of code. Day 15. Um, yeah, it's getting serious. We are 10 days now. Oh, Oscar Allen. Woo. I think, uh, I'm not sure if I've lasted this long before. Not with, like, because we've done every day. We haven't done any double days. No rubbish. It's been on. We've done some early streams, some late streams, but... And like today, we're an hour late. Because there was a speed chess championship going on. And, well, I accidentally tuned in and then it was just uh, crazy exciting. Anyway, commentators were good also. So, we're doing day 15. I've heard that uh, part 2 is especially hard to do. So, let's hope we actually work it. Yeah, okay, so there was sand falling into the cave we were in. And, uh, what are we doing now? Okay, distress signal. Yeah, we went to the distress signal yet. Yeah. Tunnels, you don't have time to search them all. You know, you pack the disable your sensors. Okay, uh, sensors are very powerful, but that's okay. Your handheld device indicates that you're close enough to the source of this animal. Use them. Okay. So, it attaches itself to hard surface. It begins monitoring for the nearest signal source. Beacon. Sensor beacon also goes into coordinates. Each sensor knows its own position and can determine the position of a beacon precisely. However, sensors can only lock onto the one beacon closest to the sensor as measured by the Manhattan distance. There's never a tie. Okay. So, uh, we got an example here. Let's start by parsing. Whoop whoop. We love parsing. Okay. Import utils. Data input. So, a uh, equal sensor. Uh, so, we have the uh, look of the sensor. And we have a we have the, let's see here, look equal type and let's just call it S, okay? And we have the beacon, B in comment. Deriving, show, instance, read, Input where reads prec reader spec reads prec equals parse prec parse where parse equals do string sensor at and then a We do a parse pause x x x. Okay, so this is gonna be L. Wait. L x a l y parse pause y. Then char colon string, uh, oh yeah, sensor at skip spaces, char skip spaces, string closest beacon is at a b x parse pause x. B Y pars pause Y ah and then there's a comma in between jar comma 
Let's keep space in the same here. Okay, uh, return, uh, return s uh, lx lx ly a b x b y right okay and parse pause parse pause c equals to char c a char equals and then reads s reads s to p read reads at int language gac 2021 pause pause um This one needs to be indented to one more. Okay, now what is main? Do. So we're gonna do a read input. Okay, read input, read input. File path into IO list of input. Classic. Read input equals a fmap a reads a uh, read dot lines dot read file read a uh, input now this is a d15 example into print doesn't like this uh, because ah all right let's see if we got it Preload no pars. Okay, let's do then a, a look into trace show n import debug dot trace. Let me actually just add that to utils. Okay. Module debug dot trace. And I'm gonna import debug dot trace. Import debug dot trace. Trace. We do that so often, don't we? Let's see. How does it fail? X equals comma. X equals two. Closest beacon is ah. Closest beacon is at. Okay. Now let's say. Is it the parse pause that doesn't work? Oh, okay. Okay. Closest beacon is at. Ah. Uh, I just give paces here. Okay, sorry about that. Hey, Maddie. Ah, did Lenny is here? Yeah. And Oscar Allen had the right idea, but oh, and I need another skip. Oh yeah, because I'm moody. Anyway. Okay. We got the sensor input. Okay, now sensor at x1. So consider it sensor at 2.18. The close beacon is at minus 250. For the sensor at 916, the close beacon to it is at 1060. Drawing sensors, okay, let's actually write because we're gonna use the Manhattan distance. Let's find that in utils. Manhattan, let's call it M dist. A Manhattan distance takes int comma int int comma int and returns. 
and base a is equal x1 x2 uh, x2 one x and y one y two this is a b s and let's just make sure manhattan distance it's like a yes abs x x1 like x1 minus x2 plus abs y1 minus y2 and it does not like this because i uh that's actually what y1 right and then a y uh yeah x2 it's like this okay this is a manhattan distance dun, 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 dun. okay got the manhattan distance down okay so consider the sensor of the sensor is s and p the marvel arrangements of the vacancy look like this this isn't necessarily a comprehensive map of all the beacons in the area because each sensor only identifies its closest beacon. If a sensor detects a beacon, you know there are other beacons that are close or closer than that sensor. There could still be a sensor because they just happen to not be the closest beacon the sensor. Closest to the sensor at 8.7. This sensor is closest to the 2,10. Just to on do not disturb here okay and so you know there are no sense because that close or closer any position marked hashtag none of the detected beacons seem to be producing a distress signal so you will need to work out where the distress beacon is where working out where it isn't for now keep things simple by counting the positions where a beacon cannot possibly be along just a single row so suppose you have an arrangement of beacons essentially like in the top above, just in a row where y equals 10. You'd like to count the number of positions a beacon cannot possibly exist. The coverage from all sensors near that row looks like this. Consult the report from you just about in a row where y equals 200,000. How many positions cannot contain a beacon? Okay. Mm, yeah. Okay. So let's. Um, wow. This is a hard one today. Okay. So there's eight comma seven. So that's the 87 and the closest one is at 210 87 and the closest one is at 210 mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, so let me first kind of look at this a bit uh, Map M No. Okay, let's um Let's actually just add here. Okay, it's not part of the input, but I'm just gonna add it. D int. This is gonna be the distance. Return let d equals m dist. Now let let l equal l y. Let b equals let uh, b e x 
B Y E equals and this L B and then this is mess with all that. Jazz a language uh, uh, what do we call this again? It's called a record wild cards. Record wild cards. Oh yeah, and I have to explicitly export this and, and this okay okay so these uh this is the distance for which we know there are no sensors no the doctor begins to reduce to the doctor no the return six position where a pagan cannot be present How many positions cannot can so, row where y equals two thousand two hundred thousand positions a beacon cannot so I, like okay i get it for like 10 or stuff like that but like for two hundred thousand, no for two million so i i want to say just zero okay it's not zero because I, I feel like we don't know anything about that far away because all the data all the data kind of peters out, right? Okay, right, so the input is completely different from the output. Okay, e sorry, of course. Um, so in the right where y equals 10, there are 26 positions where beacon cannot be present. Okay, um, so let's map out which which points I have data about. Let's look at the input actually. Um, sorry, I got confused. I was like. Yeah, it doesn't make sense this question for the example, but of course, the question is about the. Uh, it's about the uh, input. Uh, 
I feel like um, like we should map out the points that are within distance five uh, over there, and there cannot be a clash. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay, but that's not gonna work, right? That's not gonna work for, um... That's actually not gonna work, you know, here. We cannot just map out all the points. Um... Because it's gonna be an extreme amount of points. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, we did the parsing quite quickly. So for y equals 10, right, okay, so... We can do something simple, right? Okay, so task 1, okay, we take in the... y... And we take in the list of points. We turn it into the task one. Uh, so what is the farthest point? Uh, The first question is, uh, which of these are giving me information about Y at all? Okay, so here we have Y. Uh, so let's do um, imps. Let's say a filter. Let's just say input. Filter, uh, so we have S, uh, we don't care about the X here, uh, Y, we care about the bacon, D, uh, try again. Okay, and then Y, and let's just say that uh, ABS target minus Y. So this one has to be less than or equal to D. No, that's the task one here, right? D, D, of uh, 10. So we're gonna just say, okay, so these are the ones uh, for which, which have any information about that Y. Okay, so, right, so like, um, because the, the Y's are actually, yeah, so these are the ones that have any information about the Y's. And let's see. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, and then we want to 
Okay, let me see here now. F. Where F? Mm, okay, now let me just transfer this into in comma in comma in. This is the look, and I'm gonna take the first we filter, and then we're just gonna map map uh, s s into uh, s dot l comma s dot d and we're gonna use language language oh overload loaded record dot a uh, apply uh, okay So these are the points, and then these are the, this is the distance. I don't care about the, well. I do care about the beacons, in the sense I care about the beacons that are at Y10. Okay, so, um... We have to count the beacons. Okay, actually. Uh, where bex equals a ling filter as uh, as a I don't care don't care uh, b y don't care. B y equals target imps. So because we gotta count the like the, the ones that have the beacon there, right? Because obviously, uh, the question is, you know, how many positions cannot contain a beacon? Right? So, And then there is a beacon here, right? So that can definitely contain a beacon. Okay. So now I want to compute the projection of this point onto the Y, right? So we have the line. And it's like where it intersects a uh, so this twelve fourteen right for example that uh, oh a subscriber Mathis Mathis Holy Quaternity all right oh no a subscriber more follower also nice to get some follows um. So 12, 14, closest beacon is at X, 10, Y, 60, okay, let me just say, uh, let's go, let's go on. Okay, um, this is the twelve fourteen. Mm, this one, and the closest one to that is the ten sixty. But we're looking at line 10 here. Uh, 
and it doesn't reach there uh, but the distance was it one two three four yeah okay yeah 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 Okay, so uh, right. So I want to know how far away are they from? How far away are they from um, the line? Okay, how far away are they from the line? Uh, so let's have another in here and we are gonna say um so let's see how far away they are from the line now the uh, map it's gonna be another int all right another int map a uh, uh, x comma y comma a D two. Uh, so let's see the M dist of X comma target. Uh, so let's just see C at. So it's gonna be C comma M dist comma D. X comma target is uh, so let's see M dist C X target. Okay, so this is how far away they are from the line. This one is four from the line, and if it's exactly four from the line, that means that there is one point. Uh, there's one point on the line. Which is exactly is so, so uh, okay. So the thing is here, right? So this is one uh, eight seven, and the distance of eight comma seven from the line is three. Okay, but it's saying nine, and that gives us a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, that's telling us that these 13 spots, which is a, so that's like, okay, so this, that's one plus it, so that's a, so contributes, let's say, Map a C comma a D L D. So that contributes a C D L D and that contributes a one plus D minus D L times two points. So that one contributes that many points on the line. Okay, so this one gets uh, 13, 10, um, okay. Now, actually, let's make this into the range. Mm. Okay, we don't care about the... We actually don't care about the Y here anymore. So let's just drop... This is going to be X. Like was 12 there 
Uh, so this is going to be the range. Um, this is going to be the range. Uh, X minus D comma X plus D. I think. Okay, uh, no, so this one should be contributing. Uh, okay, but you get what I mean, right? Like we're gonna we're gonna get the, the projection down. Okay, uh, let me see. Let me get this straight. Okay, so uh, this is uh, only s equals s equals s comma l comma s comma d map only s. Okay, uh, only s now. Okay. Let's check this again. No, let's just let it. This is the okay, and then we are gonna say that the uh, projection. Uh, okay, let's see. Proj. Okay, so we actually find the a. Uh, Raj of a s comma y comma d uh, is equal to x comma m dist c comma target. Oh, right. So this is c at m dist c x comma target comma d map proj dollar. Okay, um, so we know that um, it's going to be the range. So let's actually jump get the range stuff from here. Uh, Do, 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 do. No, we don't. I mean, we don't need that. Okay. Let's see. Aim to range. Okay. X this and D. So the number of points should be. Plus a dist minus dl. So this is going to be the range x minus um, p comma x plus num p No, I mean this is wrong actually.
This is not giving us the. So this one should be. So this one should be the point. You know, twelve, twelve. Um. This one should be the point twelve, twelve. Um. This one should be ABS. This one should be the point twelve twelve. Now is this two to fourteen? That's supposed to be the point thousand eight two thousand eight. Yeah, two to fourteen. Um, let's go look. This is a point eight to seven. Is this one this one is contributing thirteen points, yes. So it ends at fourteen, that is true. Mm. Yes. But so zero is here, zero, one, two, yes. Okay, so these are the correct ranges. Now we want to merge the ranges. Okay, so let's do a sort. Import data dot list sort. And now we're doing the same as we did here. We are merging all the ranges. And we do that like this. Same as here. Uh, Copy this, and we say this is going to be merge range. And then we need to export it. Merge range. Okay, and now we do a... So if we do merge our list of sorted ranges, Merge ranges. Increment. Uh, uh, okay, we we'll do this in YouTube. Merge ranges into int to int to int. So we assume it's sorted. Merge ranges equal. So cannot. So if we have a you know a and b and the rest then we can do something merge ranges uh, rs so this is otherwise is empty or there's only one range uh, basically we can't do anything okay so a uh, case merge range a b of Uh, if it's just R, R, S, so, R, ranges, so if it's just R, then we do merge ranges, R, comma, R, S. 
otherwise merge rangers all right and then we just say a b merge ranges ding 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 okay let's say map the sort map to range Merg ranges okay that did not quite work out seems like there are some issues here in Okay, so let's start. Hmm. Okay, let's say um. Okay, so if uh, so, they are merged. Wait. So what if I sort on it? Keep editing a daily day fortune. That's not right. What if I sort these again? What does merge range do? That's the function here, right? It's trying to merge uh, merge two ranges, right? Like you have like a, a range which is set of numbers from some point to some other point. Uh, and what is the problem here? I feel like... <laughs> okay, I don't, I apparently don't have a case where like if it's one is contained within the other. So if the start... Uh, because now they are... Uh, Okay, so what where, where, what are the cases? Uh, so the let's see, they're always sorted. That's for sure. Okay, case a uh, e two less than equal to if e one e two is less than equal to e one. Uh, then we just go from um, doom, doom, doom. if e2 is less than equal to e1 uh, and s2 is less than equal to s1 Wow, uh, no. S1 is less than or equal to S2. This is equal to then uh, S2 equal to E2. Merge range S1, E1, S2, E2 equals. Then we just prefer one over the other. Ah, no, okay. So S1 is equal to less than equal to S2. Ah, no, then it's just it's actually S1, E1. Yeah. Okay, so then we just go Okay, so let's see if E2 is less than equal to E1. Uh, this is just E2 
a max no Oh, this is where you want to be writing on some paper, right? Let's see, intersect, intersection of ranges, intervals. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, interact with zero this. Okay. Okay, let's just list up the cases. Okay. A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. So merge range. Uh, don't care. And then B, C, comma, D. And the case is that B is less than C equals nothing. Okay, merge range range. Then okay, so then I do is c minus d is less than equal to c minus b less than equal to one. So if uh, c minus b is less than equal to one, then it's just a a d just a comedy okay um and a is always less than equal to b okay so okay this is the first case a b c d now we have the case uh, okay, A, B, C, D. Okay, we have the case where um, so I think this is the only case where we merge ranges, right? Ah, okay. Then we go from just A to um. Max B and D, right? Okay, uh, and then we so th this is the only case, right? So, but the case A and B, yeah, okay. And they will be sorted, so this will be fine. Okay, now uh, we want the... We're gonna go back to day 14. We're actually gonna undo everything here. Get uh, the head of day 14. Uh, I had like the li length of a line. Yeah, range size. Let's see. Sort merge ranges. Uh, okay. 
some map range size. We get twenty seven here. Ah, okay, and it's gonna be this. Where our size equal, oh. Our size is gonna be some of the sort of map to range, map projections, map only, yes. And this one. Okay, and I actually have to do this as well. And then this becomes a... And we also... So it becomes R size minus Bex. Right? Because we know there's one beacon there. Uh, ah. You just see, and we have the same beacon multiple times. Ding, 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 ding. And map. Let's uh, do. Uh, Map uh, as as dot b imps and uh, filter b y b y equal target and then we get just the beacons and then we do set that from list. Mm. Import data set set import qualified data dot set as set set dot sites twenty seven one uh, okay we do Okay. Now we get the 26, which is like the, we did the production, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we, we do it quite efficiently, I think. Now let's see for the input. And then this one is a uh, this one two million. Okay. All right, we got part one. That's the easy part, apparently. Let's see if we can do part two fast. I mean, we did a lot of the, we did a lot of the, we did a lot of the work yesterday with all the merge ranges stuff. So this one is, uh, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Your handle devising is this. This has an active when sensor, but the distress speaking when watching me have X and Y coordinates which no lower than zero and no larger than four million. To isolate this as we take you to determine its tuning frequency, we can only be found by multiplying its X coordinate by four million and then adding its Y coordinate. In the example above, the search space is more so the X and Y coordinates can be at most twenty. With this reduced search area, there's only a single position that could have a beacon. The tuning frequency. 
Find the only possible position for the distressed pigeon. Okay, um... With this reduced search area, there is only a single position that could have a beacon. Okay, so we kind of eliminate all of the spots. can be found by multiplying it. Okay. Um so four million. So we were looking for uh we we're, we're taking all the ranges. And it will be such that uh, there will be like only one spot. That does not have the... Mm -mm -mm -mm. There's only a single position could have been good. Okay. Let's see. Um Task two. Okay, so now we're gonna we're not gonna do the uh, size. So we don't have to search every combination, we can basically do a linear search uh, of the whites. For Y11. Okay, let's see here. Um, let's print task two where let's look for 11. Minus 13 to 50. Okay.
And then up task two from zero to 20. Um, Okay, let's just get here imps. Okay, and now map m dot print a task to ah right. Okay, and I'm gonna say a map. map and um, print and this is going to be a flip task to imps and we're gonna map that over 0 to 20 let's just see what we get ah So there's only one place where it's possible for it to be. Let's see, um, input in. Input. Input. Imps, okay. Filter links. Let's just see how incredibly slow this is. That's exactly the one, okay. How many are not uh, equal to one? Ah, sorry. This you go to four million, right? Ah, I get one. Okay, um, nice. Okay, so let's uh, just I a task to input aims. I I comma um, um, and we'll just say to
because we don't actually want to oh we, we do want to remember the range okay so let's do here a um, task to target okay so this is not going to be the target Ah, okay. Uh, let's call this task to prime. Now, a uh, task two is equal to map i i comma task two i input imps. And we're going to map this over zero to four million. And this is going to be the imps. Okay, map this over the imps. Then we're gonna say a filter uh, equals equals to dot length dot s and d yeah, again this is actually task to prime okay and then we get the two ranges Okay, um, where, uh, so we're gonna say something, we don't care about start. E. Comma, don't care about the second one. Equals, ah, uh, yes. Filter to ah yeah and it's gonna be i comma x ah oh. yeah we we're checking the y's x comma uh, e plus Let's see. Ah, let's do it with the example first. Um, let's take in a max here. Range zero to range, and we search for task to twenty here. Okay, and it immediately comes up with 11.14. And then we need to say x coordinate by 4 million. Okay, uh, so uh, y is equal to e plus 1. So this is going to be x times a uh, range plus y well okay here's actually times four million x comma y here uh, 
Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Uh, right, the X is 40. Okay, so yeah, sorry. It's gonna be Y, X equals E plus one, X times four million plus Y. So for the example, we get five, six, million eleven but for uh, input We might actually let's check this number, but I'm a bit afraid that it's uh, above max in. All right, we got day fifteen. Not as hard as I thought it would be. A uh, go winner. Wow, math is holy. Quaternity. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, we did all the hard work yesterday with all the range stuff and how to merge ranges, stuff like that. And a trick is here that uh, there's never any clash, so there's actually just one range, so that made it easy. Uh, a lot simpler, and you know, it becomes a linear search, right? So we're not actually checking all combinations. We just do it for every Y and we could probably have sped it up by, you know, done something. Anyway, get status, get a D15, get a update, get status, get count, and day 15. All right, but that was uh, day 15 for today. Uh, sorry for being late, but chess is pretty good. Uh, and tomorrow I'm going to a Christmas party, so I will also, yeah, so I'm going to stream at 10 o'clock European time. So, uh, yeah. So 10, so that's 9 UTC. Well, okay, not 10 o'clock exactly, maybe more like 10, 15, right? So, because I got teaching, so I'm going to stream um, before lunch, and then I'll have Friday off. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll see about Saturday. I have to figure out the plan then, but yeah, probably again, right? Some sort of kind of morning stream. Or late afternoon streams. We'll see about that. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Uh, and hope to see you again tomorrow. Alright. Bye-bye.